This snippet is Building Basic Layout in Sketchflow. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to work with basic Sketchflow tools and Sketchflow elements, including shapes, buttons, and notes. You'll also learn how to add images to a Sketchflow project. So we're going to continue working here with the Snowboard Online project. If we look down in our Sketchflow map, we're going to go back to our start screen. Each one of our other screens has a title at the very top. The start screen, however, is blank. So we're going to go ahead and create an intro screen to our project. You could think of this start screen as an equivalent to the first screen in a PowerPoint presentation, for example. So because we're working in the prototype style here, we're going to go ahead and use the pencil tool to draw some mountains here. And then we're going to be adding some text to tell us that this is the online snowboard application. So the pencil tool is located here in our toolbar. We need to locate the pen tool and then click and hold down to access the pencil tool. Once we have the pencil tool, we'll draw some shapes on our artboard like so. Even though this is a prototype, if you don't like your initial take, you can always press Ctrl Z to undo and try again. Next, we're going to add some text. Let's go ahead and click on our Assets tab. Make sure that the Styles and Sketch Styles section is expanded. Click on Sketch Styles if necessary. And then we'll use the Title Center Sketch to add a title to our page. Let's go ahead and call this Snowboarding Online. Now to expand that text box, I'm going to go ahead and click on my selection tool and then click and drag one of the anchor points on the side so that it all fits on one line. And now I'll place this in the upper left hand corner. Now we also have another element called the note to emphasize the fact that this is a prototype. If we look within our sketch styles, you can see that there's a note sketch element. Go ahead and click and drag this onto your page, and then add some text within this note, such as, this is an online snowboarding application version 1.0. When you switch back to the selection tool, you'll notice that you now have a yellow sticky note, and this is going to appear on the start page of your Sketchflow project. Go ahead and double click on the welcome screen in your Sketchflow map. Next, you'll add a background image to your project and then add that image to this welcome screen. So to add an image in Sketchflow, you'll want to choose Project, Add Existing Item. Now within the Snowboard Online folder, we've got an Images subfolder and a file called BG Welcome. Go ahead and click Open. Now within your Projects tab, you'll see the BG Welcome graphic. In order to add that to your document, you merely need to click and drag. Go ahead and place that on your Welcome screen and reposition as needed. Now you'll notice that this overlapped our welcome text. If you right click on this graphic and choose order, send to back, this will place it behind the welcome text. Next we're going to add some basic navigation in the middle of this page. In order to do this in a logical structured way, we're going to go ahead and use some grids and snapping. In the bottom left hand corner of my artboard, you'll see there are two icons, one labeled show snap grid the other labeled Turn On Snapping to Grid Lines. Let's go ahead and click on Show Snap Grid first. We now get a grid that appears upon our artboard. By the way, if you ever need to change the spacing for this grid, you can do so in Tools and Options, and then Locate Artboard. This will allow you to change the spacing between your grid lines. However, we're going to leave it as is and choose Cancel. We do want to click on this other icon, Turn On Snapping to Grid Lines. When we do that, new elements that we arrange on this artboard will automatically snap to our grid lines. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a sketch rectangle. This will create a navigation bar. In order to do this, let's click on our Assets tab. Within the Sketch Styles category, go ahead and locate 
rectangle sketch. Now this time, go ahead and just click once. When you click one of these sketch elements, you can also draw with it. So what I'd like to do is place my cursor in the upper left-hand corner on one of these grids here, and then click and drag down and to the right. Now because snapping is turned on, the edges of this rectangle will automatically snap. When I let go, we now have a new rectangle. If we'd like to move this rectangle after we create it, we can click on the selection tool and we can either click and drag down or we can also use our up and down or left and right arrow keys. So if I use my up arrow key, I can make it snap exactly within the center or at least slightly above the center. Now we'll go ahead and we'll add four buttons. These buttons will represent our boots, bindings, boards, and community pages. In order to do this, I'll go back to my Sketch Styles category, and I'll locate Button Sketch. Go ahead and click that once, and then within your newly created rectangle, click and drag to the right to create a new button. Now what I'd like to do is reproduce this button three more times. I want all these buttons to be the same size. So rather than clicking and dragging to draw a new button, I'm simply going to duplicate these buttons. Go ahead and click on the selection tool, place your cursor over that first button, and then press and hold down the Alt key. When you do that, you'll see your cursor change, and then you can click and drag to the right, and you'll get a new button. Click and drag to the right again, and you get another one. Click and drag one more time to get another one. Now I'm actually going to show you one other thing here. I'm going to go ahead and purposely misalign this button here. Because we do have a command that will allow us to align objects to each other. In order to do this, all of these must be selected. So in order to select these buttons, I'm going to shift click on all four so that they're selected and then go up to Object, Align, and we have a few choices here. In this case, because all the buttons are the same size, we could either choose Top Edges or Vertical Centers. Let's go ahead and choose Vertical Centers, and we'll see all the buttons now align. Because they're still selected, I can go ahead and use my down arrow key to place them in the center. Now I want to rename these buttons, so in order to do that, I'm going to deselect first by clicking anywhere in the background, and then I'm going to go to the first button and double click the title. You'll see a highlight appear. This allows us to rename this button. I'm going to go ahead and call this Boards, and then Boots, Bindings, and Community should be the next three buttons. I'm going to deselect again, and then I'm going to turn off my grid so I can see my page. In the lower left-hand corner, I'm going to click on this icon to hide the snap grid. In this snippet, you've had a chance to work with the basic sketch style elements, including the shapes and the buttons. You've also learned how to use the grids and aligning, as well as how to add an image. Thank you for now. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training from Microsoft.